I'm in jail and I hope that you are having a great day today. So today's video is a quarantine or isolation like favourites and essentials haul. Except none of this stuff is new. It's more just like recommendations of stuff that I've been loving and using during this time that's made it better, easier, more enjoyable. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. So let's just get on to the video. So the first, I've got a few different categories and the first one is TV shows and movies. So I'm not a massive movie person, but there's some that I've really enjoyed. So the movies that I've liked are The Notebook and Dear John, which are both really old. And another one is Love a Wedding Repeat. It's really funny. And yeah, there's some of the movies that I've liked. And then TV shows. Oh my gosh, I've watched so many. But ones that I've been watching in quarantine are Gilmore Girls, The Good Doctor, uh, Jane the Virgin. I've only watched like two episodes of that because I've been, I finished off Gilmore Girls, which I've been watching forever, but it's still been really good. And also Dance Moms. I love Dance Moms. Uh, I know it's old and like, I was more obsessed with it when I was younger, but I still, I still like it. And others that I've watched before that are good are like Pretty Little Liars. Uh, I watched The Vampire Diaries, like half of it, and then it got taken off of Netflix. So like, I have to rewatch that, but that was good, what I saw of it. Uh, Gossip Girl. I think everyone would have watched it, but like Stranger Things and 13 Reasons Why. And yeah, they're, they're all my favourite shows. So the next category is books, and most of these I've read on the iPad, but the first one, which I am part way through reading, would have liked is this one, which is called On Encore Valentine. Valentine. I don't really know, but it's good. It's a good book. And then other ones that I've enjoyed reading are The Art of Healthy Habits, Bosch, The Healthy Vegan, and Miss Peregrine, Peregr I don't know how to say it, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. It was really good and I liked the book better than the movie actually. Now on to podcasts. So I have mentioned it in vlogs before, but like I listen to so many podcasts. But I'll just tell you a couple that I have been enjoying in ISO specifically. So they are Shameless, The Kick Pod, and The Healthy Hustlers. Now onto my like beauty and self self beauty and self care category. So this one has a fair bit in it. So I've got actual products to show you for these ones. So the first recommendation or must have essential, I don't know is Burt's Bees Lip Balm. I've just got one here. I don't know what, like, flavour it is. Mango butter? I don't know. But we've had it for ages. And I love Burt's Bees Lip Balm. And I've been using it so much, like, 20 times a day. Because I can't stand having dry lips. And I've got, like, big lips too. So you, you can't have dry lips. And we're just going into winter in Australia. So we're getting all dry, my skin's drying out, which is why I need to use my second recommendation, which is the Body Shop Almond Milk Yogurt Butter. No, Body Yogurt. This one. It's super good. Like, it is. It smells so amazing. And it's, like, so smooth and thick, but, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's really nice. I rub it into my hands. Even holds my hand cream, like versatile. So my next thing is specifically for those people with crazy hair like me. It's this static free smooth operator, like for frizz maintenance. So if you have like frizzy curly hair, if it's just like a big poof ball like mine, this stuff is great. It settles it down and it also it kind of softens it. So this is the product. It's by Natural Look Australia, and yeah, it's really good, and it also smells pretty good, which is an added extra. My next few things, I've got, oh, I need to show these two specifically, and then I've got another one to show later, but my essential oils that I've been loving lately are Whisper, which is a blend by doTERRA, and then just lavender essential oil. And yeah, both of these are from doTERRA. 
And that kind of leads me into my next recommendation. I'm going to take you over here. Which is my essential oil diffuser. So I love this one by Mel Luca. But we also have one out in the lounge room, which is doTERRA. And they both work great. So you just like fill it up, spin it around. Where's the little thing? I don't know, but you just fill it up with water and you put in a few drops of your chosen oil and then it makes your whole room smell amazing. And then the next thing, which is sitting right next to it, is my salt lamp, which I love. It's actually showing up way more yellow on camera, but it's like orange. Like what it looks like up the top is what it looks like on the whole thing to me. And it does great. It just looks nice. I always have it going in my room just like all the time. And it, like, I'm pretty sure it's, like, good for your health or something. I don't really know. I don't really know. But I like it. And then the final item on this list, which is, like, kind of random. And it looks super tiny here. I've got one in my hair right now. But I decided to get you a nice new one to show you. Is these little hair ties. So they're just, like, the springy ones. They stretch pretty big. And they hold your hair really good. And it doesn't, like... You know if your hair's up ages and then you pull it down and like it hurts, it doesn't do that and it doesn't leave like the kink in it. So I don't know what they're called, they're like the springy hair ties. I'll, I'll try and look up a proper name. But I'm pretty sure I just got mine from Poulet, it was like a 10 pack and it's lasted me like a year. My final category is just like a random category where I've got heaps of stuff. So the first item in this category are my Sony wireless headphones and look they're like kind of getting destroyed. I've had these for like two years but there's a newer generation of them but they're just like the basic wireless Sony headphones. They're noise cancelling. I always wear them when I walk Archie it, like whenever I listen to a podcast or music so like when I'm working out, walking the dog, just walking around the house. Uh, yeah, I'm just chilling. I use them all the time. I just love that they're wireless because when I had wire headphones, and I know you might be like, AirPods are better, but I mean, I do want AirPods, but these are like, they're a different story. They're actual headphones, over the ear headphones. I also like to wear them for editing. Uh, what's my point? Oh, when I had headphones with the wires in them, I actually broke them after like one day because I accidentally like kicked the wire. So you can't do that with them. They're really good. But next, it's kind of like a recommendation to do something more than, yeah, I don't know. But it's just to journal. So I talked about this in my like 40 things to do in quarantine when you're bored video but journal. So this one's just like, it was like $5 from Kmart. And it's got lots of pages in it. Yeah. <laughs> you can use whatever journal you like. I just like this one. And journal. It's really good. It's good for your mental health. You can write down whatever you want. Like it can be as long as you want. Should you want. Like some days I literally write like that much. And then other days I write like three pages. So it's just really good. My next thing, so I guess you could specifically get this product, but like, it's more of just, you need it. So this is my big, fluffy blanket. Like, look at the fluff. It used to be so much softer when we first got it, but it's still like really soft now. And it's big, it's pink, so I love it. And this one is just from Mela Luca, but I mean, it's more of just a recommendation for a fluffy blanket. My next thing is my foam roller. So I don't even know where this one is from. It's probably from Kmart. But it's really good. And when you're sore, when you have sore muscles the next day after a big workout. Well, sometimes I just like to do it because, like, it's good for you. But foam roll. There are, like, so many foam rollers. And, yeah, it just it's really good. I really recommend you get a foam roller and roll it out. Gosh. This one, I literally, like, it's it's so scabby, but it's a specific type of tea, and I only have one bag left, and I don't even have the box. It's been my favourite. So it's just Coles brand, green jasmine tea. I don't know if you can see the label. 
and I've been drinking this every night and it is so good and I tried like the more expensive brand one but I like the Coles brand one the best and usually I'll prefer the other ones but it's just delicious and then my other kind of tea recommendation is peppermint tea made out of essential oil so all I do is depending on how big I want it if I'm having a big one then I'll put in a drop but if I'm having a smaller one then I just get a toothpick and I stick it in and you get some flavouring on it and then just stir it around the hot water and then you've got yourself peppermint tea and it is so good so yeah there's my recommendations Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe down below because it really helps to support my channel. And I post new videos every Sunday at 2 o'clock Australian Eastern Time and at the moment on Wednesdays as well because we all, we all have a lot more time. So yeah, bye! <laughs>